Whenever you lower and lift loads with a digger derrick, the boom strength changes based on the angle you're working at. So as a responsible operator, your job is to know the weight of the load you're lifting and monitor the load changes to prevent damaging the truck or putting your crew in danger. To know these numbers, refer to the load angle chart. This is conveniently located near the control panel to be the main reference point as the operator lifts loads. This truck has hydraulic overload protection, but it only prevents a structural overload, so it shouldn't be used as an indicator of truck stability. Let's take a look at how the strength changes as it's raised and lowered. As the angle increases, so does the boom strength. We just passed over 13,000 pounds, which is the working load limit of the winch line on this truck. So even though the boom is strong enough to lift 23,790 pounds at this angle, the winch line would have to be parted in order to lift more than 13,000 pounds. This distance is known as the load radius and is also a factor in calculating boom strength. Note that as the intermediate and upper booms extend, the lifting capacity is lower. It's a general rule that the higher the load radius and the lower the boom angle, the weaker the boom will become. Let's look at the chart. You can see that the boom is strongest when it is at a higher angle and a lower load radius. For this truck, you can also see that if you only need to extend one stage, the upper boom has a slightly higher load capacity. It's an OSHA regulation that you stay within the maximum load and design ratings for the equipment you're using. So to follow this, NLC recommends doing a pre-run before lifting a load in order to determine your weakest angle. Also, keep in mind that the load angle chart shows deductions for any equipment added to the boom. If the boom you're using has any of these options, be sure to subtract this off the load capacity. The chart also assumes that you're operating on a level surface that doesn't exceed 5 degrees. Using a boom to lift these loads at any slope greater than this will cause stability problems and should never be done. As a professional, you should always know a load's weight, the working load limits of all lifting equipment, and the weakest boom angle you'll be working at. Following these guidelines is an important step to creating a safe working environment.